laying a hand on you or your wallet. Excuse me, is there a Macy's in this mall? Do you know? Uh, no Macy's. Watch Macy's. closely. This woman is about to get ripped off. Thanks, appreciate it. In a matter of seconds, this thief effortlessly pickpockets four unsuspecting shoppers without ever laying a finger on their purses or wallets. Excuse me, sorry. What if I told you he stole one of your credit cards? I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> Take out your MasterCard. Does that MasterCard end in the numbers 2594? Yes, 2594. Ex expires 0413? That's right. He just stole yeah. that credit card information from you. How did you do that? All it takes is this simple move. All I have to do is get right about there, and I could pick off your card number. Hidden inside this case is a credit card reader, just like the ones you see used in the normal course of business at drug stores, fast food chains, and taxis. But in the blink of an eye, criminals could electronically pick up your credit card information. The technology is called radio frequency identification, and you may not even know you have it. But if you see a symbol like this on the back of your credit card, you can simply wave it and... Presto! Instant payment. The major credit card companies insist their cards are secure because of multiple built-in security features, including protecting your name and address. But we wanted to check that out. Could we actually buy something using an electronically pickpocketed credit card? Looking to make an order off your website, please. I electronically picked off my colleague's credit card, and with his permission, I went shopping. Say a visa 4427. It was almost too easy. Using a fraudulent name and address, I had no problem ordering this $30 sweatshirt from LL Bean. But would the bogus transaction get flagged? Apparently not. And here it is, just a few days later. The package I ordered arrived, and it didn't cost me a dime. I think that's crazy. That's very scary.